Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving another geometry puzzle, which is pretty interesting. We have a two by one rectangle and a circle that are inscribed in a quarter circle as shown on the left. Find the radius of the circle, which was shaded. Okay, awesome. At this point, you can just go ahead and pause the video and give this problem a try. Okay, let's take a look. So now we do have a rectangle, which is two by one. That's pretty interesting. It's not a square. Remember in one of our previous problems, we had a square inscribed, but this time it's just a rectangle. Okay. All right. So it's two by one. We do not know the radius of the semicircle. I mean the quarter circle, but we can actually calculate it. Okay. Uh, if, um, and I think we're gonna need it, so we, we just we might just start with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and calculate the radius of the quarter circle. How do we do that? By drawing this diagonal. Okay, let's go ahead and draw this diagonal here. So the diagonal is because one of the vertices is on the circle, is gonna give us the radius of the quarter circle. Okay, so from Pythagorean theorem, this is just gonna be root five. Okay. So if you know the radius of the quarter circle, we need to know, or we need to find the radius of the smaller circle. How do you do that? Well, we're just gonna make some connections here. As you know, connections are important. I'm just gonna go ahead and connect the centers here, the center of the quarter circle, and the center of the circle. Let's go ahead and connect those. Okay, that's gonna be an important connection. And then I will be making, so this is R, that's what we're going to call it. And then let me drop a perpendicular from the center to the base. That's going to help us. Okay. And then we're going to drop another, going to drop another perpendicular here. Let's go ahead and do that as well. Okay. So that's also going to be R. We know that. What else do we know? Okay, let's see. This should also be R, right? Okay. We know that this length is one for the shorter side of the rectangle, and this is R. So that kind of gives us a really nice picture. So basically the right triangle we're gonna use here is gonna be this one, as you can see here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Now, if I call this point O and this point A, and let's say this is B, we know that OB is equal to 1, right? Because that's the radius. Oopsies, that's not 1. Never mind. OB is equal to root 5, okay? Because the radius, as you know from here, is root 5. Okay. OB is root 5. So OA is going to be root 5 minus R, correct? because we have to subtract the R there. A, B needs to be subtracted. Okay, so I know O, A, and I also know, let's call this point C, I also know O, C. And O, C is the leg, O, A is the hypotenuse, so I just uh, need to know A, A, C. And I know A, C as well, because this is one, right? This is the shorter side of the rectangle. So A, C is equal to R plus one, right? And AO, OA, we already said that, so I need OC, OC is equal to R. Awesome. And as you know, OCA is a right triangle, therefore, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up our equation here. What are we going to write? Okay, so our equation is going to look like this. We're going to have R squared, which is one of the legs. And then we're going to have... Then we're gonna have r plus one squared, which is ac squared. And the hypotenuse is root five minus r. Okay, equation, by solving this equation, we're basically gonna be able to, we're basically gonna be able to solve for r, right? That's our purpose. So, what am I gonna do next? I'm just gonna expand this. Let's go ahead and expand it. R squared plus R squared plus two R plus one is equal to five minus two root five R plus R squared. One of the R squares is gonna cancel out. 
Let's go ahead and put everything on the left hand side and get a full quadratic. This is going to look like r squared plus 2 plus 2 root 5 quantity r. And then I have 1 minus 5, which is going to be negative 4. Okay, so I just need to solve for r here. And as you know, this equation has a negative solution as well, but we're just going to disregard it. Okay, so let's go ahead and find the positive solution to this equation. How do we find that? By using the quadratic formula, as always, right? Okay, so it's going to be negative b plus the square root of b squared, which is b squared, minus 4 times a is 1, which is c is negative. So we can just turn this into a plus sign and add them up all over 2a, which is 2. So after simplifying this, we're going to be able to find the value of r. Let's go ahead and simplify that. That's going to give me negative 2 minus 2 root 5. So under the radical, I have this expression a plus b quantity squared. Let's go ahead and expand it. a squared plus 2ab is going to be 8 root 5 plus b squared, which is going to be 4 times 5. That's 20, by the way. Okay. And plus 4 times 4, which is 60. Okay. That's a huge radical. Let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit more. We can do that. It's going to be negative 2 minus 2 root 5 plus 4 plus 16 plus 20 is going to make 40, right? Plus 8 root 5 all over 2. Now we're going to be looking for a perfect square inside the radical here. And that's going to be 4, the largest one, okay? So if you take out a 4, that's going to be, when square rooted, it's going to be a 2 there. So inside, so basically what we're doing under the radical is this. I'm just writing it as 4 times the quantity, 10 plus 2 root 5, and then I'm just square rooting it. And that's where I get the 2, okay? And then this, so inside the radical, I'm going to have 2 plus 2 root 5. And all over 2. And we're just going to take one more step to simplify this because everything in the numerator is divisible by 2. And we'll get our answer. Negative 1 minus root 5 plus square root of 10 plus 2 root 5. Unfortunately, there's no way to simplify this radical because 5 is not factorable in a way that the sum of the factors is going to equal to 10. Okay, that's why this is the simplest form of this expression and that's the radius thank you for watching please comment subscribe and like the video let me know what you think until the next video have a good one bye bye